There's the Dallas skyline because something remarkable or what counts as remarkable these days happened in Texas over the weekend. Attorney General Ken Paxton, a Republican, became just the third person ever to be impeached in that state. And he was impeached by Republicans. Wasn't even a close vote in the GOP-controlled statehouse. You know Paxton as a close ally of former President Donald Trump. He got reelected despite facing criminal charges related to a previous matter. He's denied all wrongdoing. And Omar Villafranca is here to explain what finally got his own party to turn against him. A majority of Texas House Republicans voted to impeach one of their own Saturday. The resolution is adopted. Acting to oust the state's attorney general, Ken Paxton. He put the interests of himself above the laws of the state of Texas. Lawmakers began investigating Paxton back in March after he asked for $3.3 million in taxpayer money to settle a whistleblower lawsuit filed by staffers whom Paxton fired after they went to the FBI with their corruption allegations. The 20 articles of impeachment include charges of not only misappropriation of public resources, but also bribery, obstruction of justice, and conspiracy. Houston Representative Ann Johnson is on the House Investigative Committee. The exposure of the felony crimes that Ken Paxton has done is the kind that would erode the public trust. In a statement, Paxton denied the allegations and denounced the proceedings as illegal, unethical, and profoundly unjust. Ring the bell. Some lawmakers who voted against impeachment questioned the process. It's what I call the hang them now and judge them later policy. Paxton's attorney says any alleged wrongdoings should be left to the courts. There are new criminal charges here uh, that have been filed. So the process, I think, is deeply flawed in terms of denying uh, due process. Whether Paxton's removal will become permanent will ultimately lie with the Texas Senate, where his wife is a senator. She has not yet said whether she'll recuse herself from her husband's trial proceedings. For CBS Mornings, Omar Villafranca, Dallas.